this is a very simple, basic idea. It's a story about a farm boy in Nebraska and not on Tatooine. It was originally designed to be a modern fairy tale. About good and evil, you know, and what prevails and what doesn't prevail. It's unlimited, the possibilities of what they can do. If this one doesn't work out, we're sort of finished. But hopefully, it will justify it as a series, make you say, gee, what happens next? I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. The real fun of episode three is the fact that it connects all the dots. For finally, you can see how episode one relates to episode six and how they all come together. And you, know, you gotta remember, this is one movie and it's meant to be seen one through six. So I think when you watch the actual movie in order, the story will become very clear that Anakin is the Chosen One, and even when Anakin turns into Darth Vader, he is still the Chosen One. He forces his friends to turn against him, which is heartbreaking. You are the Chosen One! The prophecy is that Anakin will bring balance to the Force and destroy the Sith. He becomes Darth Vader. Darth Vader does become the hero. Darth Vader does destroy the Sith, meaning himself and the Emperor. He does it because he is redeemed by his son. Let me ask you a question. Where are you guys from? San Diego. San Diego. And, and how'd you, what'd you do? You drove here. Why'd you drive here? We see wanted this? to see this. <laughs> Harrison Mark Ford and Mark and Hamill, Hamill and, and Carrie Fisher, Fisher and Billy Dee Williams are here. You die in the movie? Uh, no. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> no, I understand. They want to carry this character on. Uh, continue. I think he's going to be part of the heroes. You know. Well, look at you, a general, huh? When you watch the movies, you can tell that they were made by people who really cared, cared about, about what they it. were doing. Seeing this part of it filmed, and there's all of the props around, and there's people lying on the ground, and, and it's all cruddy. But you know that, that they're going to take it back and put in the opticals, and it's going to be totally different. I mean, so we're, all, magic to that. we're all in Tatooine right now, yeah. so that's <laughs> terrific, you know. So all stops are out, and uh, it's all go. As I have seen, this has nothing to do with past present or future Star Wars could be in any of those areas. It's a big part of what makes these films so important to pass on from generation to generation. I like these films. I think there's a legacy that's important. It is a hit. You must feel the force around I've always called it a space fantasy, designed to be a modern fairy tale. Hopefully, it will, you know, justify it as a series, make you say, gee, what happens next? I think the real satisfaction will come out of completing what we started out to do. And I don't think there's been anything quite like this, you know. A beginning, a middle, and an end. It is the final chapter. It's the big finish. The force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. You have that power. It's all true.
Action. The fun begins. How long before you can make the jump to light speed? Take a few minutes for the Navi computer to calculate the coordinates. A few minutes? Are you kidding? At the rate they're gaining? Uh, you know, what is it? <laughs> you have to shoot this. Traveling through hyperspace is like dusting, ain't like dusting crops, kid. Without precise calculations, we fly too close to a store. They're bouncing to a supermarket and then... <laughs> yeah. Be a hell of a mess. What's that? Watch. It's, you're losing the deflector shields. Go strap yourselves in. Be careful on the way out. Yeah, sure. I'm taking a bit of caution. You... <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Bounce too near a supermarket? <laughs> <laughs>